Absolutely. She should not be insulted. She should not be ignored. She should testify under oath, and she should do it on Capitol Hill. But if that's up to the Senate Judiciary Committee. They need to decide the forum. Should the and, be and, Judge Kavanaugh, and Judge Kavanaugh should also testify as to these 36-year-old allegations. Should the Kavanaugh testify again publicly? Well, the Senate Judiciary Committee has to decide how each of them will testify as to these specific allegations. He's already testified for over 24 hours. I think we're up to closer to 30 hours, um, he and others, including uh, women right, left, and center ideologically who support him, who have testified as to his character, integrity, his judicial temperament, his qualifications. Um, he obviously has gone through six FBI vets, which are very thorough, I can assure you, in his in his lifetime, has sat on the bench for 12 years. And I think you have to weigh this testimonial evidence from Dr. Ford and from Judge Kavanaugh, along with a considerable body of evidence that's already in there about the judge's temperament and qualifications and character and integrity. But let me make very clear on behalf of the president, with whom I've spoken at length about this, uh, so put aside all the nonsense that's on TV and in print from people who couldn't possibly be a source familiar with his thinking. Uh, she should not be ignored or insulted. She should be heard. Uh, but I talked to Senator Lindsey Graham, and he said that that could be done tomorrow so that we can proceed forward. Uh, and, and and that's really, we respect the process, and we're also watching the process. The Senate Judiciary Committee has to decide. Well, the political activism of the should, well it, it looks like this delayed. woman, from all I can tell, Dr. Ford trusted Professor Ford wanted anonymity and that was breached by someone who decided they should go to the media with her allegations and that's very disappointing but that's what happens in today's day and age. She asked for anonymity and ironically maybe the Republicans who are stepping forward to give her her say should need to testify under oath about her recollection from 36 years ago.